Josephs and I'm with Fashion Cincy. We are here at Macy's covering the Five Essentials Fashion Show with Nick Ferrios. We're also doing an interview with him after the show. He is from the second season of Project Runway. He's also a fashion designer, a fashion teacher, and just an all-around fashion icon. So stick with us and it's going to be an amazing show. So Nick, I'm very, very excited to interview you today. Oh. Thank you so much for allowing us to spend some time with you. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here in Cincinnati and very happy because the sun came out. I know. It's fabulous. I think it's so great, especially I'm discussing spring fashion. And just yesterday it was raining, so it would have been awkward for me to be like, it's all about spring. <laughs> and it's like thunderous rain out I there. I know. It was but super cold yesterday. Today? Today's good. Nice. Today is a good nice. day. Thank you, Cincinnati. <laughs> but anyway, what I wanted to ask you was, I know that you were um, on the second season of Project Runway. Yes. Um, what made you decide Back in to the day. Yes, back, back, back. Back in 1884. <laughs> yes. What made you decide to do that? Oh my goodness, what made me decide to do Project Runway? Um, what happened was, is that the first season happened, and I watched it, of course, because uh, not only am I a fashion designer, I also teach fashion right. at FIDM, which is the Fashion right. Institute of Design and Merchandising. And, um, and so the first season happened, and I never thought about, oh, I should do that. The second season was going to happen, the casting, and I started getting all these emails and phone calls saying, oh my God, Nick, you should do this, you'd be perfect. I was like, no, no, no. I teach fashion, <laughs> you know, I'm better than that, I'm a designer, you know, right. and everybody's like, no, you'd be perfect, and then I thought, you know, no shoulda, woulda, coulda, just do it, you only get one chance, right. and I had already been an established designer in Southern California, Los Angeles, I said, right. maybe this could be a great trampoline to take me nationwide, right. and have more women see my dresses, right. and I said, you know what, I'll just do it, nobody's going to find out. But I did it, they'll say no to me, and I'll go back to my job, and it'll be fine, right, you know? Right. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen. <laughs> I went to the casting, and um, Tim Gunn said, you're in. And I was like, uh-oh, because I wasn't ready for that. Um, but it was great. To, but uh, it was a lesson in just do it. You know, and, and you only live once. Yeah. And again, if they would have said no, so what? I, it, you know, I would have gone back to my life as an instructor, right. uh, my fashion, my company that I was designing. You know, it was it was fun. You know, so I, I'm so happy. And now here we are. We're in season 11 wow. of the show. And um, I'm humbled that people still recognize me. Um, people still... No, people. I'm still out there doing stuff. I'm I'm beyond humbled and excited to still be relevant. Right. I would say. Yeah. yeah. And what is like the biggest lesson learned that you've taken on throughout your career from that experience? Oh my gosh, my biggest lesson. Well, I like I was saying the no shoulda woulda coulda. Just do it. Um, if you feel something in your heart uh, that you have a passion for, I would say just go for it and, and go for your passion. Always, I totally understand you know, that. <laughs> um, and and because otherwise, it's 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 just going to keep tempting you. Right. It's always going to be there. It's going to be like that fettuccine alfredo that you want to eat, and I'm like, just eat it. <laughs> you know. Don't and, worry about the calories. Don't worry. Right. Just eat it yes. right now. Yes. Work out later. Yes. Uh, but uh, you know, that's a lesson, and 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 think outside the box. Um, you know, a lesson that I learned from being on Project Runway, I did it to showcase my dresses. Not to be famous, not to be on TV, none of that. I honestly, naively so, thought, oh, you know, maybe my aunt and my mom and my dad will be watching the show, but nobody's going to watch it, because nobody really watched the first season. It was an underground hit. Right, right. But then, after my season, it just exploded. I didn't realize that. And, and I remember the first calls I got weren't from backers weren't from people wanting stores, wanting my dresses in their stores. It was E! Entertainment. It was TV Guide Network. It was style. They're like, you're fabulous. We'd love to have you on TV. Talk about the red carpet. You're a fashion instructor. We need your expertise. And I was like, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not why right. I did the show. Yeah. I want to just showcase my gowns. And um, then I thought, wait a minute. This could be an extension of the brand. Right. But it was something that I did not think about. And now the world has changed. And I think uh, it came with Isaac Israel, where now people buy the designer. 
when you think Diane Lafferstrup, you think of her. When you think Carolina Herrera, you think of her. The designer, it's very important that you you have to sell yourself. And you and are part of sell, sell yeah, yourself. Yeah. You are part of, of the brand. So right. it's important um, to, to know that. Right. Yeah. And uh, I know that you're very focused on teaching as well. Yes. What advice can you give to our aspiring um, designers out there? Oh, my goodness. Well, follow your dream is number one. Um, and I always say, if you're starting out going into fashion college and wanting to be a fashion designer, um, make sure you know the craft from the sewing to the pattern making to the draping and know all of it, even if you might not like it, because you never know that sometime in the future you might need that. I wasn't very much into pattern making, but I, you know, and I remember taking the classes going, oh my God, you know, I want to be a fashion designer. <laughs> this is too technical. Yes, yes. Um, I ended up making over $100,000 as a freelance pattern maker. And I remember I saved $25,000 making my patterns for my first collection. Only because I paid attention in class, to my pattern classes. And so I always say, like, make sure you, you are a well-rounded person. Now, if you're going, if you just graduated, here's some advice from Nick. Um, do everything. Pick up the coffee. Go get the coffee, pick up the fabric on the floor, show up on Sunday, show up on Saturday. I, you're going to hate it, you're going to bitch, but bitch quietly. Those are the success stories. I always say, you're not a diva until you have a diva resume. Work for that diva resume right. and then you then can, you can be, be a diva. You know? Then you say, hey, get my job. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Be willing. You know, be willing to do it and and, 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 and just and work, 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 and, you know, pay your dues, I guess. And that, I think, and trust me, years down the road, you'll feel so much better that, that you accomplished it and you accomplished it by working hard. And people in the industry will recognize that you were a hard worker. Right. And don't forget to be nice. That always helps, too. <laughs> now, I know that you have a big focus on dresses with Nicolai D and then now with NV. Yes. Do you ever um, think of doing something else other than dresses? Like, are you, or are you strictly just dresses or how? <laughs> You know, I love your dresses. Oh, no, thank you. Wrong. Oh, thank wonderful, you. Wonderful, wonderful, gorgeous dresses. Oh, thank you. And with you. NV, actually, I saw some of the lines for NV. And it's oh my God! Oh, can you hear all the singing? I love it. Um, so uh, I don't know if you you would think about doing other things, yes. or you want to strictly stick with dresses, or I, I don't know. It's, just what's the future? For yeah, you? it's funny you ask because. Um, when we started thinking about this new line, NV line, um, I actually, when I showed the buyers, I showed jackets, tops, pants, like separates. Mm -hmm. Because I felt, am I restricting just dresses? This head buyer of a head store, not naming names, <laughs> said, looked at the line and said, why aren't you just doing dresses? And she zoomed in on it. Mm -hmm. She was like, your, that's your DNA. She's like, why are you showing me a trench coat here and a jacket here? And I was like, well, because I just thought, she's like, no, 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 zip, zip it. Dresses. And, and really, I'm, I'm much more comfortable with that. I think that hopefully moving forward and hopefully if that is a big success, that of course I'd love to do shoes, jackets, you know, have the whole wardrobe, the whole closet, design the closet right. for that girl. Right now the girl has the dresses, but hopefully in the future she can have the whole closet. So I'm just starting out with dresses. Also because, you know, I, uh, in my high-end line, Nikolaiki, I do evening gowns, cocktail dresses that celebrities wear. And so I felt, well, it's a good connection to bring a little bit of that red carpet dress vibe into the more yeah. diffusion, lower priced NV line. Because the NV line has amazing detail. Oh, and thank draping. you. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, just great, great. Oh, great. thank you. Um, what is your favorite sort of go-to style tip for the season? Ooh, favorite go-to style tip. Okay, for Nick. Let's see. Color. Girls embrace color, definitely. And this season especially, it is about a lot of color, a lot of neon. Don't be afraid. Go into the closet, go into the dressing room and try it. I know you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to wear apple green. Trust me, try it. And you're going to just feel like, oh, I look cute. 
And, and let me tell you, color does a lot of emotional things to people. I know that to me, I'm more apt to say, oh my God, I love your color. If you're wearing something colorful, as opposed to like, oh, I love your black jacket. You know, right. and I think that you'll be, it, it, it's almost like an ego boost. So uh, the, a number one tip I say to girls is, especially for spring, is to wear color, embrace the color aspect, um, and bring some embellishment, whether it's a little crystal here, you know, maybe grommets, some detailing in the item that you're wearing, whether it's a top, a dress, you know, something like that. And then, you know, I love the skinny, lean pant. And I think that that works on lots of figures and lots of sizes. I always tell my fabulous, big and beautiful women to embrace the skinny jean mm -hmm. because they'll be very surprised at how sexy and right. hot yes. they look. They might not think like, ooh, I can't wear a skinny jean. That's just for the skinny girls. That's just for the size zero girls who don't right. eat. No, no, no. I love my skinny jeans. Yes. I literally, I think I've thrown out every single pair of like mastic or boot cut. <laughs> or boot cut or play. God, it's all good. <laughs> like, oh, oh my God, this is skinny. Oh my God, I love it. I, love I think it. it's a great staple to have. Get it in black, get it in white, get it in colors. Yes. You know, like you have it. I think that that's great. Um, and then always have a heel. Always have a heel, a go-to heel um, to wear because you never know when you might need it. And a great belt to cinch it all in. Um, I think that that's really essential. It's about creating an hourglass figure where you might not have an hourglass figure, you know? And so a cinched belt, something that you can cinch it, all of a sudden creates that waist. Yes. That waist-defined detail. Um, so, yeah, I would say that those are great tips. And, and most of all, smile and have a great personality. Don't go out of the house, you know, feeling bad. Just, you know, bring in a little bit of that, I'm feeling good, and that, is the best accessory Not at all. you can have. Totally agree. Yeah. Totally agree. Thank, thank you so much once again. It was <laughs> such a pleasure. Oh, thank you. And thank I'll definitely you. be continuing to follow you. Yay! I just I love your design. I tell you. Oh, if thank I could you. ever see like one of your films, physically, like, I would. I would Oh my God! Oh my well, now you can now you can get my envy dresses soon at the store, so you'll be very very happy. You can look fabulous. You can have your own red carpet moment. <laughs> thank you once again. Oh, thank you, baby. Oh, mwah. and what? Bye, guys.